Can you, hey, how are you? Can you hear me? <laughs> yes, I can hear you. What about you? Great, good, good. Yeah. So how's things there? That's fine. Right here, going, <laughs> waiting, <laughs> thinking, <laughs> thinking, thinking. Why? What, what happened? No, no, no. You know, I'm just here. We are just. Your your line, yeah. Relaunch everything, open everything. Not the best. So it's let a me, the lockdown, let me check right? Something. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's yeah. Some yeah. connection, right? So, so we we know that that uh, Italy was uh, was one of the places that got hit very hard. Yeah, and really um, is it over there at Milano? Pardon? It, it, uh, well, we know that um, Italy was uh, hit hard by COVID-19. Was it that bad in Milano? Uh, yes, because, you know, here in the north of, uh, of Italy, everything started here, just next to Milano, outside. There were two, uh, you know, main brave areas, sense. as they say. Yeah. Right. Right. So, and how uh, bad is it? Well, you know, uh, everything was, let's say, locked in a, in a couple of, of, of days or weeks, maybe. Everything came together because this okay. coronavirus comes vroom, like a twister. I don't know. Something really... Yeah, it, it, it's, it's pretty crazy, right? At, at one point, it was, you see hundreds and hundreds of people coming, um, having uh, people coming and out, um, not surviving, uh, must be very hard for you guys. Um, are you involved? Are you, are you at the front line? Did they ask you to be there to help? I mean, I was there waiting, but no need. Okay. No need means everything started to come. Uh, right. But I, I was ready, yes, for sure. Uh, to be very honest, I was like doing in these weeks, we, we talked before like a morning, you know, because right. too many people died and too many colleagues that we know that got the coronavirus, you know, some oh of my. them went on the, yeah, some of them went to the, on the, you know, on the, uh, on the intensive care unit. And right. uh, that was bad, you know, also relatives, relatives that died for sure, old ones, but uh, you know, um, at the beginning they said it was something just for you know certain kind of people, but we've seen that only also the young people would have these young problems, people you know? get it. it. It is a cytokine storm that that is killing yeah. a lot of people. Yeah. yeah? yeah. yeah. Yes. And, yes. And when when it just hit, at first you, you guys didn't realize that it can be that bad, right? Yeah. You know. Uh, the problem with this is when you have this, as you said before, this, uh, this storm, uh, you never know how your body could react, you know, because right, you know, exactly. you know, pe 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 people, even in plain health, uh, healthy people uh, run, etc., finished in the intensive care units. Uh, right. Little of them died, unfortunately, but as I said before, we thought it was something that will never touch us. I mean, talking about younger uh just to take care of our older relatives and friends etc and uh, but in the end i mean it's i think it's for everybody no it's yeah it's yeah did, did, did anyone around you actually had the virus and actually had um uh, all kind of uh pass away yes 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 all, all relatives you know old people with right. comorbidities uh Three of them, and uh, and and then as Sorry I to told you, it's, it's, you know, yeah. aunts, uncles, uh, right, and um, you know, also as I told you, friends and colleagues that got it. Right. Fortunately, nothing happened, but some right. of them required. I mean, they had to go to hospital, stay there for fifteen days. And you know? going to ICUs for treatments, right? Uh, yeah, some of them went finished there too, and uh, you know, I was really worry about them right because i kept on texting and because you you, you never know you can imagine we, being doctors right. we know everything that could right. happen you know which is positive <laughs> from a point of view but yeah. negative from another 
I don't right. know. We must get the balance just in the middle. But yeah. uh, yes, it was really. It is still now. You know, it's it, it thinks it, it seems it's come. it is it is it is calming down. It's going down, and we are right. thinking on reopening everything in a cup for by for the moment you know it changes from day after day and week right. after day but it should right. be by may the 4th so okay now from a couple of days is that personally i started to think about really the future how would this change everything and that's it yeah yeah, yeah. so so basically you how long have you been locked down like how long uh, did you well, uh, this started, uh, that was end of uh, February, so oh, yeah. it is more than a month that it, I oh, yeah. personally am locked. I just uh, go once per week to my clinic just to follow the last surgeries I, I had done before to oh, yeah. remove the you know, stitches, dressings, etc., and try to do as much as I can with video calls, you know, this 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 new area of webinars and Zoom and whatever, yeah. okay. uh, uh, and I keep up with them. So I check that everything's okay. You know the plasters. We I have pl as a plastic surgeon. Yeah. Plasters, yeah. stitches, uh, right. uh, breast check, uh, all the surgeries. Yeah, so so no new cases. You are just following up of the, on uh, old cases then. Yes, I had to reoperate. For example, um, I had to reoperate um on oncologic one. One of yeah. my patients who had a melanoma, Eric, and I had to overexcise yeah. it, you know, so only oncologic ones. And uh, and then another one that had something bad stuff on only his eyelids, Just, I had to do okay. reconstruction, flash that. But that was That's, my priority, yes, the, the, the rest yeah. of Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, so uh, it's your hospital, actually, when, when we look at the news, okay, uh, for real, say, stop watching TV. But, <laughs> anyways, yeah, what we right. see is, is is people actually um, lining up at the corridor and and there's no not enough beds and um, is that is that a real thing? It's is every hospital over there the same? It's all packed up. You know, since the very beginning, I I mean, I kept on uh, talking also to TVs. You know, they called me from Latin America. You know, I'm Argentinian, right. and I kept on saying. This could happen. I mean, it could happen that we could have. I mean, an over. It, it could be overbooked. Everything. I mean, everything could could be full. That yeah. happened in certain areas, but okay. fortunately, they were organizing the way to distribute the patients from one to the right. others with helicopters, ambulances, etc. So right. they deal with that in a very very nice way, in the best way, because. We keep on learning and they keep on learning each country, you know, right. they started saying something and then they change to other. And we right. too, you know, we know now we can now talk about interleukins, we can talk about conjunctivitis, we can talk about lots of clinical signs that we see in these coronavirus patients, but keeps on, kept on changing. But maybe at the beginning you could have, could have been some, let's say, uh, outside the, the emergency room, some patients there waiting, but then they were, they were, they say, moved uh, taken to other. care of, and yes, they managed to actually yeah. transfer them. Yeah, yeah but so, and, and now it, it's flexing down, now it's much more. Yeah, it seems like yeah, you guys have been doing uh, quite, quite great work. At, at first, I've, I've seen like it is just increasing, and now it's sort of coming to a good plateau, and hopefully yeah. then uh, things will come down even more. Um, but but how how what was the cost? Do you think that that it was initially there wasn't too much of um, a surveillance and there wasn't any um, uh, so-called social or physical distancing that that promotes it? What do you think? You know the problem started as they said and they studied uh, started in Germany in which in uh, they say in. January, they, there was a first case. They didn't report in a certain way. I don't know how things went there. And then this right. guy, which was the first one, came. He did Shanghai. He stayed. He works for a German, uh, I don't know, company. And then he came right. to the north of Italy. Right. Meanwhile, you know, everything start, should have started there. We never know. I mean, right. exactly. Maybe after this wave, we will, we will talk about, let's say, numbers. 
And everything started little by little growing up and up. In Italy, we have very old population. So yeah. this increased the risk. In the same right. time, there were, you know, the football ma- there was one football match in Bergamo area, okay. which was the, okay. one of the red uh, areas. Right. Right. And that everything, they say, they say everything exploded there and it kept wow. on racing and racing and racing. Uh, I would have never said that that something like this would 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 have ever happened. To be very honest, yeah, yeah. But, uh, actually, monument. Yeah, it's it's just crazy. Eighteen thousand people, right? Uh, going to like eighteen thousand deaths, and yeah, then because of this, uh, and uh, wow, the the numbers in in there is is one hundred forty-eight thousand people actually got it. It's uh, it's it's crazy. I mean, yes. look look at Spain, look at France, look at uh, U.S., U.K., and I think still it's you know it's going up because I don't right. know this is crazy thing. And Latin America, fortunately, Argentina moved in an excellent way because they blocked everything. Right. Hope they can right. keep that up because it you know it's difficult to keep people at home when they exactly. see no one and nothing. Yeah. They just see yeah, no. Yeah. So, so, so what, you, you actually are from Argentina and then you actually did your medical school in Argentina uh, yeah. and then come to Italy, to yeah. Milan. And ever since you've been here, uh, yeah. you, I know you also went to France and also to Brussels, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, yeah. And, uh, yeah, that, that, that's the story. I was born, as I always say, I'm, I'm a hybrid, you know, <laughs> half man, <laughs> half beast half Argentina, half Italian. Uh, so, uh, yeah. yes, yes, I studied in uh, Buenos Aires University and then right. I finished my last year here in uh, Milano. Uh, okay. And then I traveled around uh, w- during my residency as a plastic surgeon, France, right. Luxembourg, uh, travel, as you did too. <laughs> we are good travelers. So, or we uh, yeah. Active, or not. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. Or not. Do you have you still have families in in uh, uh in Argentina? Uh, still have uh, my aunt and uncle and my cousins, but for the rest, right. we move all together here. I see. How's the situation there? Do you think it will get it? It's just beginning, or do you think it will get worse, or how how's it going there? I don't know. Now they are doing things really well because they blocked everything. They have very they have very little cases there. And okay. this is very nice. You know, the problem is, as usual, they started too early, as it should be, right. the right way, but it is difficult to keep it up, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. The, 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 the earlier you start, the, the, the most problems, economical ones you could have, okay? Yeah. So it, it, switches, it will switch in the, in the way that they will have to start not threatening, but <clears throat> you know, it's when they get scared towards something and they stay there. You know, when right. you're afraid of something at the beginning, you say, "Oh my God!" But then it has a positive aspect, which is to keep it down, to say, make you realize right. that you have to stay at home, which is the only thing you can do. You know, as I tell yeah. we as doctors, we were ready. I was yeah. ready. I'm still ready. If they call me tomorrow, I can go there. No worries. With pleasure. Yeah. But uh, the only thing I did is just to say my uh, colleagues who are in front lines, some of them with positive, you know, uh, with with the virus, positive ones. I said, if you need something, I'm here just to help right. in some way, you know, to build something at home or do something. I'm there. So it's the only thing you can do is just stay at home, as they say. It's true. Exactly. It's true. Exactly. <laughs> and, and how has it changed? Uh, it, it must have changed a lot of how you guys leave and and i mean the lockdown with uh people starting to kind of wear masks around or yeah. do you guys do universal uh, testing kind of thing you know we uh, this will change for sure because we will start wearing our masks as oriented people do that you're used to right, that right, right? yeah yes yeah. we we, we yeah. always thought what, what they are doing when they are you know tourists no more tourists well, he's wearing something right. what is for that well we will become like that for sure. So this will right. change the way, lots of things. As you were talking yesterday with our friend, uh, <laughs> with the king, uh, yeah. you know, uh, this will change. We have to adapt ourselves. But right. you know, the only thing I mean, the 
we we've been traveling the world. We keep on traveling the world, trying, uh, talking about our giving courses, giving lectures, talking about our techniques and exchanges with others. And the main aim is to say, okay, we just work. We have the best, uh, or try to get the best scientific uh, point of view from everything. Keep it up, which means safety. And safety is that. Is that what we are? What we do? Who we work? Our yeah. uh, studies. And uh, uh, in this case, we will adapt to this, giving, of course, the hundred percent at the top. Which is which are what our patients need, okay, is and deserve, which is the the best we can do. So yeah. this is this will change. We we have to get used to to wear our mask even outside the operating room and our our glasses, protective ones, and you know it's uh, it's very it's, surgical the way we will. Yeah, treat yeah. I think I think that will definitely change and. And is contact tracing um, being done right now? Is, is it the surveillance is, is much better now? In terms of In term contact tracing, like uh, if there's someone's contact, that they sort of uh, follow up with all these patients or, or contacts. Uh, 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 yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, and we are now with with the you know with all the plastic surgery societies, dermatology societies, etc. We we are discussing on creating the new guidelines that we will have. They will be, of course, local, but I think more or less they will be the same level yeah. in which we will have to send an SMS or contact, as we used to do, contact the patient before to confirm the appointment, to ask. But in this case, we will ask, have you been in certain places of risk? Do you have fever? Do you have cough? Do you have, right. are you sneezing? Are you yeah. whatever? Are you dizzy in some way? Okay. They will come, they will write down that they are okay. We will try the temperature at the moment that we will have to register, okay? So, so, so as to protect them and protect us. And then of course, my clinic will be 100% surgical at this way because right. the things yeah. I, we do for the operating room, we right. will do it everywhere. So right, that's it. right. Yeah. And I think that that will become a standard protocol for a lot of places, right? Yeah. And 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 is that a lot of fear? What was during that 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 peak? I mean, right before the peak. I mean, if you see so many people, people you've known died of it. Was it a lot of fear? Like for it was uh, <laughs> saying the fear is huge over there. Was was that was that the case in Italy? Yeah, I mean the fear at the beginning. I mean, the fear, I think, as I told you before, it has two two phases, the positive and the negative one. Right. Okay? But, which is at the beginning, you need to explain, you need to tell, right. this could happen. People right. will say, oh my God. And the first step of fear is, oh my God, I won't be able to eat, I won't be able to do this. So they go to the supermarket, they empty everything. So in that case, they have to organize, not to sell everything to one people, to, to right. To, to, to share with everybody, and that was the first right. point. I mean, what was, which was negative. Negative right. because people were uh, anxious about that. But right. the second step of fear was positive in a certain way, which is right. it, the only thing to keep them at home. Right, so exactly. It, 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 you need to balance it, that because yeah. we know we are doctors, we know what can happen, we know, but still we, we would have never imagined something like yeah. that. So they, uh, I think, for, my yeah. father had to threaten him. I had to tell, okay, you have uh -huh. 70, 75, he's oh, yeah. hyper, hypertension, right. whatever, a little bit of the, the high basic, risk, high risk group. Yeah, yeah. High risk. So I say, and you know, they want to be heroes, but nothing happens here. He lives outside Milan or so. Right. And I said, you stay at home. And he's more than a month and he's at home. I threatened him. Right. I, I, but I need I need fear in that case. Yeah, you know? exactly. Because if not, he would have been there and he would have caught that. So. But were you worried for your wife and your daughter? Uh, to be honest, when I at the first days, when I kept on seeing patients each time I see them, you yeah. know, when I came back, I was a little bit. Even if I did everything, because I, we are. Right. Maniac about that since the very beginning. We talked about right. this with Farid when he called yeah, me. Yeah. What will happen? What is happening, Luciano? We we talked together. I said, look, masks, right. these, 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 these glasses. This is what I'm doing. I, I will do this. This is 
the way I'll do it and the clinics I work and the places I work and all the people that work for me and with me and together with me and collaborate, etc. they will behave the same way. And in that way, I mean, I was protected. But, you know, when you come back and you say, come on, what if I got it? If I'm positive, asymptomatic, <laughs> you know, because this is you know, the other stuff. Right. So, but with the passing of the time, I mean, nothing happened, fortunately, at least for the moment. And, right. uh, and it's fine. I mean, maybe when they reopen everything, what I'm thinking is to stay somewhere else. Why? Why is be, that? Because if I'm in t true contact with people, I wouldn't like uh, to bring yeah. it back home. You exactly. know? So, Let's try I, to quarantine I yourself. I, try yeah, to protect I, 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 I'm, I'll try to... I'm thinking about this, what okay. would be like and what, you know, what will yeah. happen and what would be the numbers and the people and whatever. So what will happen there? So, uh, right. so, so. But how's, how's the sentiment over there? It's a lot of people with, um, because of they, they lose their, their relatives or people they know and there's a lot of sadness. They couldn't be there with them. Or was there a lot of anger towards, um, um, certain countries or certain people or the politicians, what, what's happening there? No, the problem is, I mean, they, they use now the, the numbers fortunate of, of death per, right. per day is slowing down, is going down. Yeah. Even if we are more or less 500 per day, 500 people per day, it's a lot. It's a right. lot. Even exactly. one is a lot, but 500 yeah. is a too much. But you used to yeah. have, but I think we touched 1,000 or 900 and something at the worst oh, yeah. days. Right. So, uh, but people, you know, you can't do anything. You, the most terrifying thing is that you cannot say goodbye to your relative, to the one you be, you're beloved. Why? Yeah. Because they are isolated. You cannot even be next to them while you are, while they are at the hospital because right. of the severity of the lockdown inside the the. the, the the various units and between colleagues. Right. And then of course, when they die, you can not even touch them or, or even not even see them maybe, okay? okay? Because it's too overcrowded, everything. And it's so, so sad, you know? Uh, so this is, I think the the worst thing about uh, this, when you lose a relative in this situation, it is worse than maybe another one or not. I don't know, but this is really not having this opportunity. I think must be really, really yeah. sad and really terrible. The worst. Exactly. Right? So, exactly. And and your your daughter is doing fine. She doesn't. Yes. She, yes. No. You know, she's five years old. She, her her birthday is next Friday, and this would be a particular <laughs> fr birthday because you know they are kids. They are used to do something else. But right. in these days, poor. She was great because it's more than a month because the schools closed before, 15 days before. So it's right. m m a month and a half that she's here, yeah. blocked, and she's doing fine. Yeah, just, she's, I'm doing whatever. For, I'm <laughs> catching up, as I said, I'm catching up what I, I never do. I mean, you know, I travel a lot. I work, I don't know how yeah. many hours per day, like it. you, like, like, like for Farid and whatever. Farid. So <laughs> he's there, I can see him. So. <laughs> Number one, the king is is here with with us, and he's very nice. And right. uh, and you know, dealing with this was really we had to explain. I had to explain. Look, this is why people are wearing masks. This is something we have to explain right. to kids. It's very right. important to to tell them. Right. No, it is because of this. She 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 talks about virus. There's the virus. There's the virus. Right. Says, oh, okay, so we stay yeah. at home because there's the virus. Okay, virus, so yeah. we are trying to tell her in a so let her, let yes. her know. Yeah. yeah in a soft but way, but yeah. what what happened to your your practice in you you travel to Dubai quite often as well, right? Yeah. You yeah. practice there. And I couldn't you go eat. there. I'm yeah. in contact. I, I I miss Dubai a lot. I know my <laughs> patients and my friends there. I love right. you know, I love Dubai. It's my second home. And right. uh, I couldn't move because I was blocked there. Mm -hmm. To tell you, when everything started, the first weekend, I had to go for uh, an expert meeting in uh, Paris, and I went right. to the and I went to the um, to the airport, and then went back. I mean, went back home because I didn't right. feel going there because I was 
afraid of being blocked or put under under quarantine. Quarantine, you know? yeah. Quarantine, yeah. So, uh, so everything was blocked. Everything is blocked. The airports are are down, and, and I'm looking forward to going back to Dubai. The situation is, fortunately, I think maybe because of the weather, I don't know. They try to keep it down, and they are keeping it down, but they are right. not down. They are isolated and like everybody of us. Yeah. In terms of uh, flattening the curve, right, and and yeah. trying yeah. to it down a little bit, and and uh, I think. Uh, when do you think that this? I know you you say about uh, early May that probably yeah. the lockdown will will be released, but it won't be released immediately. I think it will be step by step. It will and, be step by step. Yeah. Yeah, and do you think how how long that this will last in Italy? Because the amount of um, you you just don't want a second phase, second uh, peak to come, and yeah. and. Do you think that things will only come down in months to come? What's the what's the thing that you foresee coming? Since the very beginning, I thought I kept in my mind June. To be very honest, I said in June maybe we'll start to breathe better. Uh, I programmed for the first week of May because of the government says okay, said okay, and the clinics called me. I had lots of. Uh, surgery is there and I will start with the ones with the oncologic ones this is my priority and in the first week of May I'm sure I will start doing them uh, if this is kept like this if nothing changes right uh, so this is my intention for my patients and uh, and then little by little start to insert the, the other ones I'm talking about the cosmetic ones, uh, cosmetic procedures and everything. Maybe I will start for sure with the non-invasive one. Who knows? We will see because, as I told you, we are waiting for the um, for the associations, the societies to see what they will say. To be everything more than ever, we have to be all together, okay? Right. Worldwide. This is world, but particularly we start from each country. So right. I think... Uh, I think in May, maybe I will start seeing again. I mean, touching my patients again, uh, hopefully. And then it will be progressive. Of course, as you were saying before, um, you were talking yesterday, uh, the slots will not be, will be for sure an hour or more, so as not to exchange, I mean, no, 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 don't, not to have people that cross each other even in the same moment there at the clinics. Yeah. Uh, that will be for sure. We are thinking about all the rules, disinfected protocols, and uh, masks for our patients. Yeah, you, you have the robot hand, right? You have the robot hand with you? <laughs> no. That was something I created for my little girl. Yes, it was nice. I thought about it. I said, maybe if we have right, a, right. a robot hand, we can, as you were saying yesterday, <laughs> you can inject for from one meter and a half, you know, with no having problems, but... Six feet, uh, six feet apart, yeah. <laughs> who knows? I think, to be honest, that the first thing we will start doing would be Botox. This is my... Really? Question. Yes. You think so? You know, you know why? First thing, uh, think about it. We are, not, we are not used to wear masks every day. Yeah. I, I mean, every day and every moment. We are just yeah, exactly. we are surgeons. I, I used to that in the operating room, and right. that is normal. But yeah. the only thing that we will see, at least at the very beginning, and hopefully everything will fade away, the fears and etc., and, and we will come back uh, right. as normal as possible as before, will be this area: the forehead. We'll see the forehead. We'll see the eyes. We'll see the the eyebrows, and this is what we'll see. So, crow's feet, glabella area, front, uh, <laughs> forehead. It is something that maybe we will start doing that. And it is something that we can do, particularly at the beginning. I was discussing with one of my friends two days ago. They can wear their masks. They come, right. they do, and they go. Talking about just the simplest things. And the, that they will have maximum effect because it's something that they will show. So right. I don't know. This could be a theory. It's a theory of how yeah. things will go. I, of are, course, you, are you training to show the thought? That, uh, yes, 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 I'm like training like this uh. <laughs> to see if I can 
tac, if I can get them there. Right, right. For sure, and for sure. For me, the same body contouring as well. Don't forget Yeah, for that. sure, for sure. No, no, body contour, of course. This is something, body contouring is something they can keep on wearing their masks. I mean, right. no risk because it's okay. They are in another room alone. So we disinfect everything and everything and it's, uh, and it's, and it will be okay. I mean, this is, I'm talking about when we have to be really in touch is when we do facials. Okay. When we do something right. on the face. Uh, so in this case, we have to be very careful. I mean, we will have right. to decide how to do it and et cetera. Yeah. But yeah. when we are doing body contouring, it's, it's, yeah, before that you would been traveling nonstop, and uh, do you yeah. miss traveling right now? <laughs> yes, like, like you do, I'm sure. Huh? Lots of things together all around the world. I'm, I'm actually pretty okay. I, 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 well, I do miss a little bit, yeah, but I, I'm think, yeah, it's a good time to kind of sit back, uh, think, recuperate a little bit, but yeah, after too long, yeah, we need that. <laughs> <laughs> we yeah. have to have an expert forum again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, you know. Right. Uh, to be very honest, I was a little bit tired. This was tough year. Last year was tough year. This one at the beginning was maybe would have been a worse year, which means right. lots of work, which means positive things. But in the end, you start to <laughs> in a different way. So yeah, yeah. this is this is the time from slow down. The slow down, as I told you, personal, and this is for my patients. You know. Uh, right. I was, I'd been elaborating and listening and studying, etc. but above all, elaborating my, my morning towards right. all these catastrophic things that we, we still living here in Italy right. and in the rest of the world and thinking about everybody and receiving phone calls and, you know, as every, as everybody, but, uh, you know, you start to reflect, you start to think when everything, when, when you can deal with that psychologically, you start to think, to project to you know to discover this new world of having friends yeah, yeah. Uh, in this way and as you were saying before yesterday we've met in the courses in all worldwide but we right. never dedicate so much time right. to talk like this way that means it's right. a positive one of the positive things and then we yeah. think of new things new papers new presentations you can reflect on your pictures on your techniques Improve yeah. them. It's just that we love yeah, this think, and we live for this. Yeah, it, it is a great time to reset. Like, like you say, there there are times that we travel so much that we don't even have time to sit down and think. And and I think this this is the good thing that's coming out of it. And then you say um, in in terms of friendship and also kindness, and especially at this time that you see a lot of people started to. Kind of, uh, yeah. We we probably do a lot of Zoom and lots of phone calls and in touch, sharing ideas, information. I think this is happening, and it wasn't as uh, much like before. I mean, uh, before it was it, we didn't really do so much of that, and now we are doing a little bit more. And I think that's that's a great thing that's coming out from this virus, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's yeah. for sure. We you reset everything. You think. Okay, you, you, and then you, you do your next things and you, you can reflect. I mean, reflection. If you take into right. account that my, my personal life was traveling. Last year, I worked for 22 weekends nonstop. Nonstop right. between checks on Saturdays, Sundays, because our priority in that case is, is our patients. When you have drains, uh, someone that has pain, stitch to remove, uh, etc., right. you operate that different so you can deal with that of course it happened to me traveling to dubai operating there they coming back operating in milano thank god when i operate when i do whatever thing in one patient i do it 100 percent. the problem is after when you uh, relax you, right. you, you die maybe at 9 30 p.m right. while you are talking <laughs> you, are done, yeah. you, fall, you, you fall asleep. This was normal. Now I'm recovering a little bit. I'm catching up with, with my baby, yeah. giving her more time. <laughs> her, you know? Yeah. So, and is she missing the LOL doll? Ah, the LOL. You know what I did? We, uh, we must tell something. We, we, team, <laughs> we, uh, you, she, so now I bought lots of these lols 
and I kept them in the cupboard because each time I traveled, I, I gave him one. But now okay. I ran ran out of them. <laughs> so that's why I'm building robots and things. Ah, and, okay, just to, just to yeah, yeah. interesting. Yeah. So you saying that you don't have time to exercise? Do you have more time to do so right now? To exercise, uh, yes. You know, I found a very nice tutorial on the web. I am. I do lots of aerobics with the baby, lots of because uh, we need the physical part of that. I've always done uh, that. I always run. I'm a runner, uh, and uh, and it's the only way. If we don't, if we don't do, uh, if it, if we don't take care of our body, and we are doing these rhythms, the right. catastrophic, which is something. We discuss this lots of times for our patients. This is, this is something yeah. we stimulate on them. Even if when right. they come to do a simple cool scouting, we stimulate it to keep it up. Or when we operate them after, I don't know, to, for liposuctions or tummy tuck, yeah. we said, okay, it's a departed, not an arrival. Right. You, you must right. keep it up, right? So you yeah. must love yourself, take care, be exactly. healthy. It you, know what? you know what? We should, we should do a challenge to all our friends. And then and rotate. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we should, yeah, we should train all together. We, the yeah, problem yeah. is that, that in these weeks I've been cooking a lot. Ah, so I've been what cooking have you a lot. Been? All right, what, what, what? Mm. Sweets, pizza, whatever. I tried right. everything. I always wanted to do, you know. So right. I studied. I studied online. I found uh, the best recipe and tried. Nice. No, unfortunately, it was nice. Right, right. Nice. You have you have to take more photos and show us when, when you're cooking. Like, <laughs> I promise. I will send. You. Okay. I, I will send right. you picture. I will send you lots of pictures when I'm cooking and everything. Awesome. Awesome. But uh, and, and what yeah. about what what about in your country, Tim? Everything is is okay. You are down. Well, you said you were you close. Yeah, we so far. I think in Asia, if you look at the numbers, uh, it can be underreported. But so far, we have four thousand plus cases. And the death uh, toll is about seventy, seven zero. And if you look at the whole um, whole Asia, including including China, it's only one hundred and thirty thousand. That's good. Uh, yeah, altogether of cases, and and the uh, death toll is about four thousand plus. And I am in a way, I think uh, it could be just the early phase that um, people start to panic, and because of uh, SARS before, yeah. it, it yeah. already had a lot of people um, nervous about this. So I think it's a good thing. But then again, they like in Southeast Asia, we are a bit more relaxed. And I think uh, it took us some time before we actually take uh, very serious precautions. But I'm, I'm glad we took it much earlier than, yeah. than uh, anything that is happening. But we are still in lockdown. Um, suppose so yesterday they just announced that we are extending the lockdown for another two weeks i think it's for the for the better good so we'll we'll do that and um yeah but anyways i'm, I'm so glad that you are safe and all our <laughs> friends are safe yeah 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 for sure well. yeah it's really important. and and I, my heart goes out to those affected by covid19 especially italy Got oh, so yeah. many, yeah, and and uh, it it really takes a lot of uh, um, the frontliners to help protect the people, and they have been fighting vigorously. And I think uh, after this, we'll definitely go through a new normalcy with a lot of uh, vigilance. Yeah, Hopefully. but anyways, I think uh, yeah, let's keep in touch. Let's 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 go. Uh, Right after this, we definitely have to get a champagne and cheers to each other. With, For with sure. Drink. Yes, we do a Zoom together. Early <laughs> in the morning. Early in the morning, right? Okay. <laughs> <With> the- <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, stay well. Stay safe. Um, I hope to meet you soon as man. Really My miss her. Yeah. yeah. Me too. Uh, hope to see you really. All of you who's there, all the friends will have this to catch up. He's there, Farid, cheering. He cheers. Says, he says, cheers. <laughs> okay. right. you and everything. Great talking Cheer, to you. Cheers, my friend. You too. We'll see you soon. Likewise. Have you. Yeah, cheers. My, cheers, cheers, uh, cheers. Bye. Ciao. Bye. Ciao, ciao.